Welcome to Jacksonville, Alabama, a hidden gem a few miles from the border of Georgia and home to the Gamecocks of Jacksonville State, where these fans are fired up for this showdown about to play out on Burgess Snowfield. We believe we've got a great one in store today, and we've got a team that makes it into the top 25. Now when you go on the road, that's when you prove you belong. As we'll see the number 17 team in the country, the Washington Huskies. Taking on a team from Conference USA, the Jacksonville State Gamecocks. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. So the Washington Huskies offense will get the first possession of the game. Here he comes, and obviously defense is always going to be aware of a quarterback, but boy, he finds a way to put defenses on their heels all the time, David. I mean, what can't he do? He's got the weapons, he's got the confidence, he's got the experience. Jesse, these kind of guys are so hard to defend. You're right. They better be able to find a way to get pressure on him, because if they don't, this is going to be a long day. Going to run it. It's Washington. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Man, what a play by that defensive lineman. You, you could say he was channeling his inner power. And that's what defensive linemen do. Big, fast, one of the most athletic players on the field, getting in the backfield. Just beautiful. You know, you could have shown a little humility there and said, oh, shucks, or something. Oh, shucks, or something. The Huskies will be forced to boot it away. Just got to wonder, too, guys, if the crowd didn't impact the offense. They're playing on the road on the first third down of this football game. Incomplete. The idea here, I think, just punt it away and see if you can regroup because this environment is hostile. So Jacksonville State's offense will try to get something going with their first possession. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play well. They immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys that are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. So, guys, over the last few years, there have been seismic changes to college football. Realignment, name, image, alignment. But one of the biggest changes, the transfer portal. Yeah, and now guys that are unhappy or in a situation where they see something that they'd rather be in, now you can leave, and there is no penalty. So, a lot of recruiting, Jesse, on other people's teams that go on through out of season. Yeah, it's 365, and it's a lot of pressure on coaches to re recruit their own players as well to try to keep those rosters intact. But the transfer portal completely flips rosters upside down. One team that struggles this year, if they get one key addition, it's a team potentially competing for a national championship next season. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior after picking up a couple at second and eight. Dropping back, it's Turner. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. That's so frustrating for a quarterback. He sees an open guy, he's ready to rip the football, and then all of a sudden, one of those defensive ends gets their big mitt in the air and knocks it down. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Complete to the right. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. And the Gamecocks come to the line with a new set of downs. They run the reverse. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickoff. Man, when I can run the football like that on first down and create second and inches and stay way ahead of the sticks and, and be in a position now where I can throw the football or run, I will have a lot of success on the offensive side of the ball. Reacted well to the tip, but just couldn't squeeze the football. Instead of the turnover, it'll be third down. Trying to pick it up on the ground. Headed to the end zone. And he's loose, and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Jacksonville State. And they just keep feeding it to their workhorse back to open this game. Great job in the open field. He's got tremendous vision. He can make people miss. You saw all of that on display here in the opening drive.
They'll try to add another to their lead. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7 0 to start this one. A 69 yard touchdown drive, and it was capped off with an impressive 18 yard touchdown run. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. The Huskies have it back, trying to make this defense bow down to Washington. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. Hand off from the gun. Tackled, but he has a first down. That purple wave getting things going on the ground now. And such a great fan base in the Pacific Northwest. Washington fans believe in their team. They're loud, and I tell you what, when they got a ground game they can depend on, a physical ground game, it sets the table for everything they want to do offensively. Washington wants to go quickly. The corners are walked up tight. Williams will pass. He's right on target. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. New set of downs after that completion. Pulls and fires it complete to the right. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. The offense threatening. Close to the end zone now with a new set of downs. He caught it. They go up top to get it down to the five-yard line as they try to pay off this drive. Now it's second and goal. Fast motion from the offense. They'll run it up the middle here, looking for a path to the end zone. And he has a solid game before the defense. contenders and pretenders on the jet sweep racing for the edge and the sticks that just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down he's looking to throw and it'll be intercepted in the end zone and a big return after the INT sets up the offense for this possession and it just turns out to be a missed opportunity. You get the ball in the red zone, and you turn it over. Momentum. It plays a big role for teams, and especially for offenses. And when you have chances like that, when you're down in this area of the field, you've got to be able to come away with points. Even if it's not going to be a touchdown, you are not leaving this area of the field without putting at least three up on the board. Missed opportunity for the other. Guys, we'll see what Jacksonville State can get going on over. Leaves it with the back. Just gets it to the 28. Pick up of one. All right. Well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. Fires downfield. And he drops it just a little too slippery in the hands. Well, the receiver did everything right. He ran a good route. He got his head around. He just didn't finish the play. Just look it in. On third down, going up top. Fires on the move. Got him downfield. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. And this quarterback wasn't thinking about taking off and running with that one. He was outside the pocket, but he kept his eyes down the field. He kept reading the coverage. He was surveying to find an open target. Accurate throw, and they get the first down. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Let's see what they've got on second down. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. Not much of a gain there on the ground, and that will do it for the first quarter. Guys, Jacksonville State has the lead here as we've reached the end of the quarter. Guys, let's have a look at the stats as we've played one period. 
And they've swapped ends of the field, and we'll get it going in the second. We've got this third down play to open the quarter. Motion from the offense. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. And he gets a big chunk of yardage to the 34-yard line. No matter how many times they tell you to look for it, it is tough to defend a perfectly executed screen. Yeah, because I'm trying to go get the quarterback, and it looks everything looks like pass, but when you see it, when you see that screen, you got to retrace your steps, get back in the play. Nice job by the offense. But the defense just has to recognize that a little bit sooner. Trying to get a rhythm in the passing game, now on second down. That throw and catch, a really good example of why coaches don't want a quarterback to get stuck on a particular target, isn't it, David? Yep, that's exactly right. Find the guy who's open, because you've got so many guys that have so much speed that can do so much damage on the field. You find my matchup, get it to him, let him do the rest. They'll try it over the left side. Gets it all the way down to the two-yard line. He was fighting for that end zone. The Gamecocks trying to cash it in on first and goal. They'll try to pound their way in. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. Second and goal for the offense. Running play to the left, looking for the end zone here. Going right back to the well, and this time he finds water. Gets it into the end zone for the touchdown. And I love the bounce back for this offense. We lost a week ago. Let's put that in the rearview mirror. That game's gone. Let's improve. Let's get better. So far in this first half, they've done just that. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. Personal foul. Personal foul. Roughing, Roughing the kicker. The kicker. Defense. Defense. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts Number it. They will take seven. the penalty. They're lining up to kick it off, and he ought to be able to knock this one anywhere he wants after that extra 15 yards with the roughing the kicker. Fielded in the end zone. It's Washington. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Offense set on first down. He wants to start this drive with a pass. Gets it out quickly. Really needed a play like that to get out of their own end. They move the chains. They mark it at the 29. First and 10. Really nice looking pinpoint throw there. Asking QBs, you think about Warren Moon, you think about Mark Brunel, the Heward brothers. What about Jake Browning? All made really good decisions. This guy, he's got a lot of arm talent, but he's also very smart. So you get stuffed on first down. You had an idea of what you wanted to do on second, but I'm guessing it's back to the drawing board now. Yeah, you, you got to figure out who you are and what you are. Uh, what's your next best play? Or what is the defense going to do? If they've been aggressive, okay, well, if they've been aggressive, I'm going to throw that deep ball. If they've been sitting back, I'm going to sneak a draw in here. Stopped at the 42, but he got 15 yards on the play. Finally, this offense starting to shake the cobwebs and get things moving. It's first and 10. Continuing to churn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. Washington right back to the line. Really important for a ranked team going into a hostile environment like this one not to give the underdog reason to believe. Yes, reason to believe, and don't give the fans reason to get jacked up and excited. Come out early, be in a business mode mindset. You gotta start fast, you gotta have a sense of urgency. You cannot come sleepwalking into an environment like this, because if you do and you make some mistakes, this crowd will pounce on you and seize momentum. By the way, run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. And you just wonder now, is that the play that's finally going to wake this offense up? They've been sluggish throughout the entire first half. Fires deep toward the end zone. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. Offense about to reel off its seventh play of the drive. Williams looking for a man. A little floater there that falls incomplete. This drive was clicking along, but after a couple of misfires, threatening to stall out on third and ten. Looking to throw it again. A strike downfield. 
That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive. offense they needed some momentum they needed to find a rhythm and what better way than converting on third down awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression pulls it in it's Otten that completion takes him down to the seven yard line and they are ready to strike going to work in the red zone they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone snags it And what did I start for this offense? The throw game, getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. Personal foul. Foul. And he tacked on the extra point. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. The kickoff team on the field, and he ought to just boom this thing through the end zone with that extra 15 yards on the penalty. If you can do that, I don't know why you don't do it every time. Reduce the risk. Bang it out of the back of the end zone. They'll put it in play at the 25. First down for this offense. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Quickly complete. And they pick up just a few on that completion. They were able to make the completion, but he had to pick his way for just a little bit. Needed a little more help to spring him for some yardage. Yeah, if you're going to have success when you throw it outside like that, you're going to need some more blocking and better blocking downfield. Give the defense credit, though. They were able to rally and made a tackle. And he just overshot his man and threw it out of bounds, incomplete. The bad news on that play, it's an incompletion. The good news is the quarterback knew if his guy wasn't going to catch it, nobody was with that ball landing out of bounds. Quarterback will audible. To the air, it's Turner. Throwing right. And the third down pass is incomplete. Fourth down. And the Gamecocks will send out the punt unit. He'll wave for the fair catch and haul it in at the 25. And Washington is ready to go back on the attack. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? You want to be able to keep... Fires into traffic. It's picked off. He was thinking big return, didn't get that, but boy, did he give his offense an opportunity at the 31. This is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got... Excellent field position here for the offense. Fires to the big fella. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. There's not a lot more beautiful in football than the play action and the open tight end. Yeah, because it freezes those linebackers. It freezes those safeties because they have to come up for a second and play the run. And then the big tight ends, big targets on the back end can catch the football and make big plays. The tackle is made, but he's got it first and goal from the six. Defense is backed up. Shadow of the goal post trying to defend their own end zone. He caught it. And they're able to get him on the ground. If they're going to keep covering him like that, they're just going to keep going to it. Yeah, and it's so hard because you want to stay back and, and take away the weapons outside. For the... And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Jacksonville State. Wow, this offense, they have a lot of faith in this running back. Knowing if they get down in this area of the field, he can get it done and he can answer the bell. Two rushing touchdowns already for this offense.
Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Fellas, I think at least a portion of your audience will have an interest in the one that just finished up. Kennesaw State is going to get out of Dodge with a win. This shade might have been a little closer than Alice fans wanted, but a blow victory feels great no matter what the final score is. It's one game you don't want to read. Both teams will leave this one with some things to work on moving forward. Yeah, how about that? Sounds as if they had a good ball game there. Kevin, thanks for the update. Well, we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into a run. Grabbed in the middle, it's Williams. And he earns a first down, and boy, did he earn it after taking that lick. These corners going to give them some space. One back in the backfield, he gets the carry. Got the first down and more. They finally make the stop. That's going to make those halftime stats look a little bit nicer as we head to the break. First half in the book. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, who's had a better seat there in Jacksonville for an entertaining first half than you? And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. Washington about to put it deep to start things in the second half. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Jacksonville State has it back in the game. Cox will go to work. Trying to set the tone on the ground in the second half. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. They'll go right back to him. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. Quickly complete. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Defense is about learning the plays. Third down, what do they like to do? How do they do it? So far, the offense having a little bit of success, but the defense now, you got to figure out what they're doing. And just wedges it ahead a bit before he's brought down. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. It's reverse. That one did not go well. Tackled in the backfield for a loss of six. This is a third and long. What a great job by the backside of the defense. And they got him for the sack. The Gamecocks will punt this one away. That's the way you answered your halftime speech. You gave up a lot of points in that first half. What did the defense do? The first possession. You set the tone in the second half. Get the big stop. Get the big sack. Really nice answer by this defense. The Huskies have it back trying to make this defense bow down to Washington. Wide receiver coming across in motion. The give to the running back from the shotgun. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Williams will pass. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't not free for a fumble. If every journey begins with a step, this offense needs to step into a third down conversion and then try to turn it into some scores and fast. He caught it. Touchdown, Washington. A Lazarus-like comeback is underway. 
great example of how a second half can really change everything for a team. No doubt. First half looked bad. It looked like it was bleak. It looked like it was ugly. But now you're starting to get it turned around. The more drives like this is what's needed. On the move from inside is five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Guys, we'll see what Jacksonville State can get going on over. They still have the lead here, Jesse, but this would be a good time to put together a drive. You're right, Reese. You can't rest easy right now. You just watch the opponent drive down the field and score a touchdown of their own. So you've got to answer that here. Your playmakers better step up. And I don't know what it is about momentum. In all the locker rooms and all the years, coach... Afterburner's coming. Inside the 30. Inside the 10. Slippery slide. Find his way and ran away from the crowd into the end zone. Touchdown, Gamecocks. Man, this guy is such a weapon because he's so dangerous. If he gets into the second level, great vision. And then Dick shows you the speed. Just straight wheels, erasing angles. A lot of times when you're chasing guys that are so fast like this, you're like, I got him, I got him. No, I do not want a big, long touchdown run. Pad those stats, young fella. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. What a way to send a message. Huge play in the running game. One snap, and you've got a touchdown on the board. They're just about ready to kick it away. Bringing it back. He's brought down at the 16. Would have been much better off to take the touchback. And Washington is ready to go back on the attack. This is when the pressure can ramp up a little bit on an offense, David, when they start feeling the heat to answer a score. And I think being down 14, you can kind of feel that way. But, dude, if you put a good drive together, this is a seven-point game. So, Palmer, no need to pay. I was just going to say, David, I mean, this thing can flip quick. You go down, score, all of a sudden your defense gets a stop, or who knows, better yet, gets a turnover. Oh, the ball squirts out. The defense snatches it, and they're going the other way. And he's brought down, and his defense gets the ball back for its own. Nice heads-up play by the defense to jump on that ball after it got popped out. Three tight ends in the formation on first and ten. Hand off to the lone back. Got enough for the first. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. And the Gamecocks trying to pay off the threat on first and goal. What a run. Great speed, great vision, elusiveness, and David, he's tackled down close to the goal line. Yeah, and this offense, when you can run the football like this, man, you will have success, especially in the red zone, trying to get touchdowns. They've moved it forward to the two. Now it's second and goal. Trying to barge their way in. And will cruise into the end zone. Touchdown, Gamecock. Man, oh man, what a day. His third touchdown rushing, showing you he's got a little bit of everything. And adding those stats and all your fantasy football guys. You have my man at running back. It's a good day. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. 35, Washington, 14. He'll bring it out. It's Washington. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. Huskies have it back trying to make this defense bow down to Washington. Trailing by three touchdowns. If you're going to get back in it, David, the time to start is right now. Got to start now. Defense giving up points on that last possession. Again, the offense is going to have to score. And Jesse probably scored pretty quick. Yeah, you got to go tempo. You're going to have to try to fit in as many plays as you can throughout the rest of this game. But I think more than that, you got to eliminate the negative plays. No more penalties and no more turnover. Several defenders get an assist on that tackle. And I love this because you got second and really, really long. And what's the idea of the offensive coordinator? Get third and manageable. Nice job getting the run. Not only a positive run. Shoot, you almost got the first down. Now you're set up for good success on third down. After 40, there he goes. 
And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Washington has it and a fresh set of downs. Wide receiver shows motion. Touch pass on the run. The defense wouldn't let him loose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. Really good job by the defense seeing it and going and getting it. Nice job understanding the touch pass. It could happen. Those guys go in motion, man. I got to understand. Safety's got to see that start flying down, getting ready to play that. Nice job by the defense being ready for that play. Hand off from the shotgun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Awesome job up front by this defensive line. Being so good at the point of attack and eating blocks, eating some double teams that allows these linebackers to run free, unencumbered, and get to the football. It's complete on the right side. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Washington sends out the punt team. Well, the defense playing zone coverage there. They're taking away all of the QB's primary options down the field, so he has to check it down to the drag running underneath. And the punt hits at the 8 and goes into the end zone for the touchback. Jacksonville State has it back in the game. Cox will go to work. They had this thing in a hammer lock at halftime, and now they are really ratcheting up the pressure, David. And I tell you what. Oh, look out! And he will finally go out of bounds after another big gain, and they are absolutely gashing them with this running game. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. Buys a little extra time. He'll try to do it himself. Nice run there. Picks up a few, and they'll force him out of bounds. Looking for a man, it's Turner. Just a short pass to the tight end. They get him down, and that'll be the final play of the third period. What a day it's been on the ground for these two guys, and they just seem to get stronger as the game goes along as we take a look at the numbers. As we start the fourth quarter, it'll take a pretty sizable comeback to win this one. Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. Power football with the run. And he picks up a first down. That is not a flag on the play. It's just lingerie on the deck after that move. Inside the 25, they'll snap it from the 24. First down. Trying to get to it. Just too much heat that time, and they knock him down at the 31. Negative play on first down. That's what a defense always wants. Running back searching for a hole. He makes the stop inside the 25, working closer to that red zone. A gain of six. Line of scrimmage will be the 24. Ball's at the 24. A lot of confidence in their kicker from here, but they'd love to take it off of his foot and convert the first down. That pass not close as he got drilled trying to deliver it, and it'll bring up fourth down. And if the kicker can put one through, this will be a successful drive. Between the uprights, it's good. And that will extend their lead even further. 14. From inside the 15, here comes the return. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. And Washington is ready to go back on the attack. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running back. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. He finds his man. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. Williams looking for a man. Caught. And they'll move the chains and get it to the 47-yard line. They've done a really good job creating the matchups they want out of the slot. Yeah, dude, get that guy matched up on a linebacker. That guy matched up on a safety. Keep him away from the corners by putting him in the slot. Get him the football. Let him make plays. 
This defense is going to have to be careful. Not only do they have to worry about this guy running the football, but they've got to keep their eye on him when he runs routes, too. He is a versatile back. Got his man quickly. And the completion gives him a fresh set of downs and keeps this drive moving. It's first and ten from the 38-yard line. Just keep giving him the easy catches until they do something to stop it. Yeah, you're going to dictate to the defense. You're going to make the defense cover him up, and then obviously it leaves the middle of the field a little bit more wide open for receiver for a tight end. So QB keeps making the right decision, getting the ball to running back, and he's making plays. On second down, looking again to throw. And it's picked off again. His night vision hasn't been on par. He'll go down right there, but what a big play to come up with that turnover. They'll run it. They want to take their time here. Finds his way ahead for three out to the 27-yard line. Got three on first down at second and seven. They'll leave it with him. He has the first and still on his feet. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. This offense absolutely humming as they come to the line again. They're getting this guy lathered up. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Last play was a near disaster, now dealing with second and 13. The give to the tailback. And a really short game before he gets a whole bunch of company from the defense. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, he has to throw for it. And it's incomplete despite some serious arm strength shown there. The Gamecocks will punt it away on fourth down. And now such a tough situation. Late in this game, you're trailing, but now it's fourth and long. Like, it's one thing if it's fourth and short. This makes it even more difficult. You've got to have something dialed up you feel really great about. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. Looking to move it through the air. Quick strike complete. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. Williams will pass. He's got it inside the 30. Hits the accelerator to the right. And the defense couldn't corral him, and he took it all the way. Touchdown, Huskies! And with that one, he's now over three bills for the game. And there's two reasons why, Reese. He's made good decisions, and he's been accurate throwing the football all game long. They want to throw it. Using his legs to buy some time. Looking to the end zone, but the pressure gets there first. And the quarterback is sacked, and the two-point conversion attempt is stopped. The deficit is huge. This one is all but over, but they'll keep trying and line up for the onside kick. That's why they call them the hands team. They're able to secure the onside kick. Guys, we'll see what Jacksonville State can get going on O. They're in command of this game. Now let's see if they try to rub a little salt in the wound or happy with getting the W. Yeah, and listen, this, this makes the post-game handshake fun sometimes. If you do choose to rub a little salt in it and keep chucking and keep scoring, I'm here for it, Jesse. Like, your job is to score points. It's my job to stop it. Keep the foot to the accelerator. Keep trying to play ball. I agree a thousand percent. That's like Steve Spurrier back in the day when I was playing for the Gators. You go and play for him because you want the opportunity to, to throw the ball. So when you get in the game late, you're not handing it off. We were beating Central Michigan by 80-something points. He was still letting us throw the football. It's the defense's job to stop you. Oh, my goodness. He's still moving. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. And the Gamecocks come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Got the first down and more. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. After coming up with back-to-back -back explosive plays, here they are, first and goal. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, the most insightful analysis I can come up with on that one is 
That didn't work. Back to the drawing board to see if there's something that works a little better, sir. Or if I can quote the great Reese Davis, that was very ungood. Not a productive first down play. It's still third and goal. To the air, it's Turner. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. We'll give the defense credit there on third down. It almost looked like they were expecting the screen. They gave up a few yards, but not enough for a first down. Now they've got a chance to get off the field. And here comes the field goal unit for the second time tonight. Thought he had it and couldn't get it through the upright. He missed it. Well, the field goal didn't quite make it through, but still an 18-point game. Well, everybody in the stadium thought that was an automatic three. Not so fast. Bad miss by the kicker. The Huskies have it back trying to make this defense bow down to Washington. Not a lot to feel great about in this one, Jesse, but I'm sure they'll try to seek out some positive. Well, this might be an opportunity, too, Reese, to go back when they watch this game and just find the plays and the schemes that were working. There weren't a lot, obviously, David, but maybe an opportunity for the coaching staff to condense the playbook a little bit. I was going to say, there's not a lot of good to go back to. That'd be a quick film session because there was more negatives than positives. But when you look at this, this week you've got a week to figure it out, figure out what your offense is going to be moving forward. Third and ten, still back up inside their own 20. This drive hasn't really gotten started. From the gun, wants to pass. The short hands, it's Washington. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. Timeout called by the offense. We have 18 seconds left. On fourth down, he'll try to toss it. Trying to pick up the first out of the backfield. Timeout is called. Clock stops. 13 seconds to go in the game. It's first and 10 from the 38-yard line. He's looking to throw it. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to avoid the loss. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. Williams looking for a man. Didn't have much of a choice there but to get rid of it. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here. With a big lead in the game, you're putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. The D scoops it up, and everybody reverses field. And they'll get him down after a solid return. I know a lot of people thought this was going to be a blowout, but this team said, just when you think you have all the answers, I change the questions. That's so true, Reese. I mean, they had a lot of dudes that we were talking to leading up to this game just had a chip on their shoulder. They just didn't feel like they were being respected, and they wanted to come out, and they wanted to prove a point. And David, they did exactly just that. And it's so much easier to be the underdog. It's so much easier to coach that team when you go, hey, they're ranked. Everybody's talking about them. You don't have a chance. It just builds all that momentum, all that hate, and you just pour it out on the field. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, Dave Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.